One of the things you might have heard, of, heard me teach you in these tutorials is that people should be taking 60 to 65% of their dietary intake as carbohydrates. Well, people who follow a keto diet don't do that. And therefore, what we want to be considering here is the following information about keto. Keto are, is a diet or it's a series of meals with little to no carbohydrates. So quite different from our typical normal rhythm and routine of what we've said is standard. This means that the proportion of protein and fat increases. So we actually take on board more protein and fat. Now you may remember a bunch of times I've drawn this kind of pie chart and here, this is our carbs, right? This big section over here, this is our carbs. Well, we're saying that we're gonna eliminate that bit. So of course, what's gonna happen is our proteins and our fats gonna have a bigger proportion of that. And as a result of this, Overall, we find that with keto diets, we have a reduction in calorie consumption as a total because carbs do occupy a lot of calories for people. So what do these meals look like? Dum, dum, dum. Here's four that my family and I eat almost every single week. Let me take you through them and just give you a very, very simple explanation. By the way, there's hundreds of meals that you can make this way. So this one here, this is what we might call an asparagus omelette. We actually make it in the oven. I had this just the other day. One of these I had yesterday, by the way, and I'll come back to that. Asparagus omelette, and you see what, what it's also got, and feta. So it's got asparagus and feta cheese omelette in there, okay? So what we've got is, we've got egg, we've got some greens, we've got some cheese, which of course is a combination of protein and fat, but what have we not got? We've not got potato or rice or pasta. That is absent, and we'll probably eat this with some kind of salad, some greens, some a little bit of onion, maybe a bit of cucumber. So there will be a tiny bit of carbohydrate in there, but it meets these principles. Second one, what have we got here? We have got tuna and edamame bean. That's posh, isn't it? And how do you spell that? Edamame bean salad. Okay, now this is the one. I literally ate this yesterday. Okay, so yesterday this was my lunch. And again, you notice in here, there's no bread, there's no croutons, there's effectively protein, there's a little bit of fat, there's, a, there's plenty of greens, vitamins and minerals are in there, but again, now, this one will be more stark for you. This one is a prawn Thai curry. I'll just call this a prawn curry. But it's with cauliflower rice. Now, you might be thinking, hang on a minute, what's that? Well, cauliflower rice is basically cauliflower grated and cooked in a little bit of water or steamed. It looks a bit like rice, but it's cauliflower. So in other words, we are taking the rice that we typically eat or the bread that we typically eat with this, and we are eliminating that. And the final one I've got over here, and again, remember there's hundreds of examples of the different meals. We have pork kebabs with peppers. Okay, I think I've actually ended up putting a picture of the chicken kebabs, but obviously it probably doesn't make any difference whether this is pork or chicken. But the point again, in here you're going to see no skinny fries. You're not seeing here a, a piece of rice or a bowl of rice. This is effectively absent of that carbohydrate. So lots of people are using this keto diet. And now let's sort of address then, well, how does this work? How is it that people are doing this? And by the way, the reason people are doing this, it can lead to very, very rapid weight loss. Now in no way am I encouraging you to do that. Okay, that is not my point. But this has become a popular diet because it's quite effective from that traditional air quotes dieting technique. So if we were to ask the question of how does it work? How does this actually lead to less calorific intake? And therefore, how does it lead to us, to us ultimately losing weight? So I'm just gonna go through this in order. Uh, phase one, this is what our body has to do. The body, the body, ends up with has a reduced store of glycogen. Now remember, glycogen is how we store carbohydrates when we consume them. If we consume too many, we then store it as glycogen or we convert it into fat, of course. So we're basically, what we're doing is we're running down the store of glycogen. We sometimes call it depleting the store of glycogen. So that's what we're doing by not consuming any further uh, carbohydrates. Second, secondly, what that then means is that the body <laughs> spelled better than that, processes, the body processes fats more efficiently. So because we don't have any glycogen in our body or carbohydrates in our body, our body needs to get better at processing fats. We can also say lipids here. That means there's a third state here. That means, or oh, this, what this will do is this produces what are called ketones. Ketones. This produces ketones and they're passed in urine. So we literally wee out these ketones. And fourthly, fourthly, this is called ketosis. 
and ketosis, let me write it in properly for you, ketosis. Ketosis is indicative of weight loss. So in essence, folks, of weight loss. So in essence, folks, what we're saying here is that this sort of more um, protein and fat rich diet and far less carbohydrate rich diet, what this is doing is it's forcing our body to efficiently process fats that releases ketones into our urine and this process called ketosis and that can lead to weight loss and by the way the reason these ketones in the urine are important is you can actually you can actually we on these little sticks these little testers and check the degree to which ketones are in your urine and if they're in there that is suggestive that you are burning more and more and more fat and of course one would hope reducing the scale of your body and the weight of your body now a couple of things i want to stress to you about keto diets this is a really important one. Permanent keto is not advisable. Permanent keto, so staying on keto all the time, is not advisable, okay? So there is a reason why we have carbohydrates in the diet. Of course, we've already said previously that glucose, that simple sugar derived from carbohydrates, is the preferred source of energy for all our cells. So permanent keto is not what we're looking for. So what we find, and this is, of course, there's many ways to do it. Some people do keto for sort of six weeks or 12 weeks to do sort of rapid weight loss. But what we also find is many people have a split diet. And I'm just gonna draw that out to finish this tutorial off. Many people use a split diet. Now, what do we mean by that? Let me draw this in for you. I'm just gonna use a bit of a uh, bit of uh, artwork here for want of a better phrase. Let's make ourselves what is effectively gonna be a block that is a week. And in this block of a week, we're gonna have day one, we're gonna have day two, we're gonna have day three, we're gonna have day four, we're gonna have day five, we're gonna have day six, we're gonna have day seven, okay? So imagine that each one of these a day. In fact, let me put them in. Here's Monday, here's Tuesday, here's Wednesday, here's Thursday, here's Friday, here's Saturday, and here's Sunday. Here's our week. Now, what we will find is that what some people will do is they will have keto, 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 so they will operate for four days on a keto diet. Let's imagine that this is the model. And then what they will do is they will, I'll just put it NK, meaning non-keto, non-keto. So back to a diet where there is carbohydrate in the diet. So what effectively we have here is we have a four, we have a four, three split, okay? So we have a four, three split, and that is four days are operated as a keto type day. And three of those days, notice that they've been sort of put at the weekend where I guess people want to relax more and maybe, you know, might, might want to go out for dinner, might want to eat a burger or whatever. And we end up with this sort of split diet. So people are finding this a very popular and go-to sort of arena or type of diet that they can use to manage their weight. So we're raising that one with you, A, because it's popular, B, because it seems to be effective. And finally, look, I don't want to speak out of turn, but... The, Sometimes people want to find a solution, right? Sometimes people sort of feeling like they, they're not happy with how they are. If you're feeling heavy or you, you're feeling like you, you know, you're not how you want to be, a keto diet is one thing to consider in the whole sort of range of different diets that could be used, okay? And nobody's recommending it as a permanent setting, but it could give you an alternative option to eat good food, plenty of it actually, and, and um, achieve a bit of weight loss and not overconsume on carbohydrates. Hope that helps.